personalization would not have been possible with great shifts in GPU processing, technology advancements. And so we've come a long way. Especially in the last five years, I think we've made digital video, video consumption a habit. And so we have a lot to be proud of. I think, however, the storytelling in the OTT space the first salvo has largely been taking storytelling from traditional formats, adding tone nuance of digital to their stories, and then streaming it out to the variety of platforms. In the next decade, I expect that the digital ecosystem will start to show what it truly really is capable of. And we start to see what the future of entertainment looks like. So I'm very excited about that. To give you context, the mobile revolution is very much around us. But content hasn't necessarily gone over to the extent that it could. We're going to start to see more vertical video content, more short form content. We're going to start to see interactive content, some of the stuff that plays best on a mobile. Many of you are familiar with the TikTok movement, and so you might even argue that the mobile video revolution is already upon us. Two, not so much in the storytelling space, but if you guys are tracking businesses like Quibi, you'll know that people like Jeffrey Katzenberg, together with Meg Whitman, are completely focused on building mobile-only content, not even mobile-first, content that is exclusive to the mobile. Illustrious names like Steven Spielberg are building content for these platforms. That's a fair departure from where we've been. If you look at content like Bandersnatch, which everyone talks about, it really is only the early stage prototype of what OTT video st storytelling is capable of. There are studios today putting together very complex content and narratives in virtual worlds where the content seamlessly integrates with your experience 
and starts to deliver an experience where you are part of the story. That's going to happen in this decade. The new disruptor fiber to the home, you guys are familiar with that, is going to change the paradigm of consumption by an individual to consumption through families. The lines between digital TV and broadcast TV will start to blur. And so our consumer change. In fact, the mobile isn't going to even be the medium of choice in the future. If you're tracking advances in technology, you'll see digital glasses like the Apple Glass, which is going to come to bear perhaps in 2023. Or hologram-based screening, where people project out video content in 3D space. All of those will be a reality in the decade to come. So lots of change. And so that's my submission. We've only just begun. Let's bring it down to India and what that means for our ecosystem. So if you look at India, we're operating, depending on who you believe, between 300 and 350 million video viewers on time. Right? In the not next four years, that's slated to grow to about 550 million. Again, could be a conservative estimate, but that's where we're going. I'm going to talk you through what Booth Select is all about. And it is really the greatest collection of stories that India has. It's an unprecedented, all stories told, whether it's from television, whether it's from film, um, our own original stories that we will put together, all under one roof. And it's important to understand that when we designed this product or this service, the first thing we kept in mind is that this needs to be a service for everyone because stories really are for everyone. Every member of the family will have something or the other or at least one thing that they will definitely love about the service. That's what I'm going to take you through. So, we believe in being disruptive at Viacom 18 but not disruptive for the sake of it. We've seen a lot of data like Gaurav spoke about. We have access to a lot of data coming in from over 100 million monthly active users and we can see what people want and what people are consuming. And that really comes more than going out and talking to people from live data. And the one thing that we realized was that 47% of our consumers on Voot watched a new episode within the first two hours of it being downloaded. So we said, guess what? There's something happening here. And when we went and further tested it, it was very, very clear that there is this piece of people want things even before than before, as one consumer said to us. And we actually picked up on that. And that has been now the birth of a clear first in the Indian market and probably a first anywhere across the world which is all of Viacom 18's television network content will premiere first on Booth Select 24 hours before it goes on television. I'm 18. Thank you, Fisher. I told you you'd meet them. Um, guys, the show is looking amazing. I've had the privilege of obviously watching all of it many times over. And everyone who we showed the first episode to has said that they will subscribe. Right. Which is more, right? the best possible news for us. So what I want to do is show you guys something that even you all haven't seen before. Which is, come this way and let's take a look at the trailer. Yeah, yeah go for it. Yeah. First of all, I would like to clarify that my childhood was absolutely normal. <laughs> and, uh, no child abuse. And... Uh, I'm a very normal person in normal life, but it's maybe my dark side which I'm going to leave that for the guys who watch the show <laughs> to decide. But it's, it's genuinely, it's a, it's a phenomenal script. Yeah, it's what's inside is what's came. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's why it says, welcome to your dark side. So, Baron, wanted to ask you, um, is this the most intense role that you've played? Because you seem to be intense through the show, which is what the role obviously calls for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, hands down. Yeah? Definitely. Most demanding, most intense, yeah. 
Okay, awesome. Yeah. Then I have another question for you. Sure. Your fans have been complaining that you're not available on social media. I am. On some social media. You are? Yeah, I have a uh, secret account. Uh, yeah, I have a... You have a secret account. Yeah, yeah. I have a secret account. Yeah. I think he stalks all of us, guys. I think he's there somewhere just stalking all of us. It's his dark side. It's his dark side. Secret, uh, uh, the alter ego that I have, Nikhil Nair. You have yeah. an account? Actually do, yeah. Which is Nikhil Nair. Right, yeah. On Instagram. Okay. <laughs> that takes away from my question, but... <laughs> it's fantastic. Have, have you got how many followers do you have on that? Have you even been checking? Your team is going to have to tell me to. There you go. Okay, but guys, follow Nikhil Nair on Instagram? Yes, yes, yes. On Instagram. Okay, great. So, Riddhi, first show on OTT. Yes. Has it been a very big change or is it more of the same? So, as an actor, my uh, method has been the same. I ask a lot of questions on set. I uh, read and read the script. But I think the mediums are different, so the output is different. The result is different. And uh, what an OTT platform does is that it gives you the space to be able to explore more. And everyone wants to do that. So, earlier on television, I would be the probably the only one on my set who would be doing that. But uh, on an OTT platform, you work with an entire team that works like that. So, I think that's the difference. And Anupya, you've become quite the specialist at coding and being a techie. <laughs> I hope so. Did you need to do a lot to get this role right? Or did it come very, very naturally to you? Um, without having to spill much of beans, uh, I mean, being the techie part and all that was not difficult, but the role was very demanding in terms of emotions because, uh, the, the, you know, the journey of this lady is such that she's throughout in a very difficult space. And uh, so, yeah, and the good thing is that the techie part is some, some sort of a relief in between because then she gets onto her work soon. So, but yeah, so it, it is a very difficult script uh, and a very, uh, you know, demanding sort of a role in some sense. And it was great working with everyone. I think Oni is a very, very special director. And it was lovely to associate with him. And um, so, yeah, I mean, Tanya. Do you have you any special uh, code that you can write so that we fly through with the number of subscribers or something like that? <laughs> Let it release. Then. <laughs> I'll like make that for you. It's like Especially. And not charge for it. Okay, thanks. Should not. Okay, okay I'm here. This is, you know, you've done a lot of stuff, but this is shift from theater to OTT. Can you tell us what's the one biggest difference that you see between what you need to do to prep for theater and for OTT? I think uh, when I'm doing uh, stuff in Marathi, I tend to improvise a lot because that's my mother tongue. But here, uh, I was always to the writer's script completely. Okay. Don't give out too much more. <laughs> okay. Saying that, like, <laughs> yeah, don't give it up. But okay, tell me that it's uh, uh, online, right? Mm -hmm. It is online. I don't know what it. What, what. But you see, people need to pay to watch. Oh, okay. Yeah. But thank you, guys. This is a phenomenal show. We know it. Everyone does, and we're looking forward to doing a lot more stuff together. And. Hopefully to get uh, God of here to do second season, start writing all over again very very quickly. Yeah. yeah. So okay. thank you all for coming and I've had the privilege of watching all the episodes once again. I'm going to say that every show um, and the show has turned out amazing. Terrific is the word. This is the first time you guys are seeing yes, this. Yes. So enjoy it. Thanks so much. And if you come this side, we're going to show you something else which you haven't seen. Can you imagine you haven't seen it? It's the world. I think we have a very, very fresh and special uh, show that you guys have put together. So may, let me ask you, Rajiv, there are some questions that I want to ask and there are some questions that, you know, little birdies have told me to ask. Yeah, okay, yeah. Some questions you're going to ask and more than that are going to ask. Wait for a little later for that. So I want to ask you, you've been used to playing a good man, you're very loved, and I'm not saying you're the bad guy.
Thank you.